Good afternoon, I'm meteorologist Tony Petrock in the Pinpoint Forecast Center with your weather web update. Boy, a lot of changes today, but certainly turning into a gorgeous afternoon on Doppler radar. Some of the heavier rain of earlier this morning is now long gone. In fact, take a look at the time lapse a little while ago down at the campus at uh, URI with that mild sunshine taking over this afternoon. Of course, casting these longer shadows earlier and earlier now that the days are certainly much shorter. Low temps this morning, well, obviously not that low at all, more spring like in the the upper 50s and then once the sunshine got to work this afternoon boy this is pretty good for mid to late November with highs well into the 60s almost 70 however dramatic uh, temperature changes on the way kind of a reality check back to uh, autumn coolness uh, beginning as uh, early as later tonight. Rainfall totals on the order of a half inch to almost three quarters of an inch of rain and some downpours late last night and early this morning. Of course, the winds were pretty busy today, gusting anywhere from 38 to almost 50 miles per hour out in Fall River. Uh, those stronger wind speeds have come down still a bit blustery, but otherwise uh, we're doing pretty good. In fact, this picture taken at around uh, 330 this afternoon showing nothing but clear skies in downtown Providence as we widen out the view some of the Heavier rain on the radar from this morning is now well offshore and racing out to sea. As we widen out the view, you can see uh, what's left of any precipitation. Is it changing to snow across the Great Lakes? Of course, the weather system that gave us the rain and the wind this morning responsible for a major outbreak of uh, severe thunderstorms and tornadoes across the Midwest yesterday. Blue dots represent wind damage, red dots indicating tornadoes, uh, fatalities. One of the largest November tornado outbreaks uh, in recent history, but fortunately that severe weather weakening as it approached our area here in New England. So the future cast for this evening and beyond starting off at six o'clock this evening, essentially clear skies, really not much going on as far as cloud cover or precipitation. Here we are tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Waking up to sunshine a lot cooler and drier. One o'clock in the afternoon sunshine, but noticeably cooler. And then tomorrow evening, tomorrow night, holding on to clear skies. Let me show you the big temperature change that's on the way beginning at six o'clock this evening. It's still rather pleasant with the temperatures, but notice the reality check sets in overnight with that autumn chill returning. I mean, nothing unusual here for what you would expect for late November, but by 7 a.m. Tuesday morning, 34 Smithfield, 41 Newport and 37 in Providence and not too much of a recovery. Unlike today for tomorrow afternoon by two o'clock, we're talking a good 15 degrees almost 20 degrees uh, colder than what we had this afternoon, topping out in the mid 40s tomorrow afternoon. But at least we have some sunshine and it's dry and we'll set up for some cold weather tomorrow evening and tomorrow night. Seven day future cast shows uh, the bright but noticeably cooler weather on Tuesday and Wednesday. In fact, 26 Wednesday morning, 45 Wednesday afternoon, partly sunny, cool on Thursday, 49. Increasing clouds on Friday. Our ch next chance for any potential storminess would be in the form of rain, and that is Friday night into Saturday. Temperature on Saturday, 48. Once this weather system goes by Saturday evening, we're talking about some pretty cold air the second half of the weekend on Sunday with a temperature at 38.